Oh, why are you turning in on me, bro? Why are you turning in on me? Welcome back everyone to the channel and today a slightly different kind of video because today we're not jumping into F124 driver career mode but rather we're starting a new series the my team career mode series in every F1 game I had a bit of a my team series going but then I just dropped off because it just felt repetitive and also uh, just didn't feel exciting as much as my driver career mode did so uh, here we are again. I'm gonna try and see how my team fares. I don't think many changes have occurred heading into F124, but we will start a new team and uh, try to lead this team to a championship. So here we are with my team. Let's see how it goes. If you guys are enjoying the content on this channel alongside this new series, make sure you leave a like and subscribe using the subscribe button down below really do appreciate the support and we are officially a newcomer we're gonna start with nothing in the bank and no resources essentially and we'll do a full season um to for season one let me just sort the settings all right so here we are then we made some customizations to our own personal driver but now we need to enter our team name and such uh the usual su elite Resin. So looking at these offers here, I think we can just go with Monet Party with the 8th or better in the Constructors Championship because that means we will have to beat three other teams. There are 11 teams on the chart now. We got Kicksaber who will probably be in the back end. We got Williams and then probably the RB or even Alpine. Considering this is Season 1, Alpine might be in the back considering how poor they were at the start of the season. Um, so this might be a possibility to try and achieve finish eighth or better i think we can do it quite frankly i think the ferrari powertrain might be worth the money 3.1 mil and it's 91 performance with 85 durability i mean the reno is a little more durable but the performance is a bit off it's the slowest out of the bunch so yeah let's go for the ferrari engine all right so let's take a look at who our driver partner could be jack doing with 71 focus 68 rated dennis hauger he's in our f1 manager series victor martins for sure hajar stanek nasani boshong and oh Atmir, tonitsa Blakely and Lee. Okay, we got some F1 esports drivers here. Um, <laughs> up here at 64 rated, man. They really did him dirty, but I think he's the best out of all the esports drivers now. I think we'll go for realis realism in this series and go for an F2 driver or F2 graduate. Rating is very important. I'm going to sign Jack Dewan. He seems to be the best uh, out of the bunch, so let's choose him. So we got a high uh, lofty goal of 8th or better in the championship. Jack Dewan as our teammate, Ferrari powertrain. So let's confirm it. Hello and welcome to a very special Formula One live stream. Now, usually we run events like today to reveal a new car, but today is much more than just the car. It's about a brand new team and one in which the owner also happens to be the lead driver. That's right, for the first time in modern F1 history, we're gonna have an owner driver on the grid. And it's been a Herculean effort, a huge amount of resource and staff recruitment and a brand new factory, one in which we are standing right now. And the small matter of producing a car that can take on the big names on the grid. So let's take a look at it now. Okay, let's introduce the person everyone is talking about, Formula One's new owner-driver. Mm. 
Now, I would have thought being an owner was stressful enough, but you're driving as well. So how are you going to approach taking on both the roles at the same time? All right, so choosing these answers will be important with what we get uh, benefits in and then what gets left behind. This isn't just about me. It's about my team, 100% behind them. Nothing easy is worth doing, like challenges like this. A lot of work. There's uh, even more to come, but I wouldn't have taken on the task if I didn't believe in myself and my team. Um, yeah, let's go with a team answer. Now, we need a good team you're behind us. Be alone, out on track. You've signed a teammate too. What made them the right fit for this project? We can see what they do on paper, and I see a lot of potential in them. That is exactly so what we see in doing. So tell me about the work on the car. Plenty done. Plenty still to come. What are you prioritizing in terms of development? Okay, so here is the deal. This is where the powertrain, aerodynamics, chassis, and durability departments come into play. We don't need durability. Um, making the car as responsive as possible, I think that's aerodynamics. Um, for heavily on traction out of corners, that might be powertrain related. Um, we can get out on track. That might be durability, chassis balances. Mm, responsive. Let's go with that. That's an error department. Now, your competitors are vastly experienced. You, by contrast, are a total newcomer. So can that be a good thing? What do you bring that's unique and special to the table? Mm, we'll have a better picture after the first race. Era, um, fresh pair of eyes can find solutions other teams haven't seen, and we've found some unique ways of reducing drag. That might be a good one. That's a drag reduction. Now, ultimately, your success this season will be determined by the positions you can take from other drivers. So what's your focus in terms of clawing time away from the opposition? Now, uh, we got two aero upgrades, right? The aero department like that. I think this might be a chassis one. We've developed an incredibly light car. This helps both our top speed and through the corners. So let's do a chassis one. Now, ultimately, Formula One is a team sport and you've had to assemble a team from scratch. So who are you most excited about working with this season? And lastly, I think we'll give the powertrain department a little boost as well. So our powertrain department really had to hit the ground running when they took delivery of our engines. They've done a great job. So that is everything but durability hit, which is well, vital thank you for very a good much My for Team your time. Series. And I think I can speak for all of us when I say all the very best. For Look at me. All right, here we go. Launching the team. All right, so it's been a while since I've done a My Team series. So let's do a quick look and see. We don't want any negatives. Cash is fine. So preseason merchandise sale is fine. Uh, oh, this is huge. Driver camp. Um, and then we'll have a day off before the Bahrain Grand Prix. That's ideal. Uh, new season. Catch up. We talk about some of the tasks I would like to focus on. We're a new team. We want to compete. We have a lot of work to look forward to this season. Our team's not known yet, so we must build up our acclaim to pursue better sponsors. This will help us finance our facilities. A lot of room for improvement. Yeah, that's a new thing that we can do. We can adjust um, industry or fin factory levels and such. Um, Decorations or the break room. I don't care. Okay, all the others. I don't care about uh, We currently have 500 K so you guys can barely see it. I'm sorry, um, but yeah, we have insufficient funds We're literally holding The equipment ourselves the car isn't even moving on a conveyor belt system or anything. We are literally looking at airflow um, <laughs> Chassis we don't even have a actual chassis factory it's just a garage and they're just standing around simulator is a sim rig <laughs> and powertrain or the cheapest of sim rigs we bought off amazon and then the powertrain is literally sitting on a mechanics cart so to say uh durability we're not even checking at this time and our office is literally uh ikea um so we need to make some money that is huge uh, and necessary. We have a thousand points that we can use, and I don't think we'll run into the issue of the 60% that our driver career mode series is encountering because I'm the team principal and driver at the same time. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. So, it, you can see here the answers I provided gave us two aerodynamics upgrades and one chassis upgrade. Um, air, uh, the powertrain department hasn't gotten an upgrade yet. Pistons, engine power is a possibility. Plank for weight redistribution or weight reduction. Um, 
and then with aerodynamics i think we'll we'll give the powertrain department some love provide them with 300 hold on is are any of these coming before bahrain we gotta check if we can slot one in before bahrain that would be ideal but it looks like everything will come before the saudi arabian grand prix so let's give our powertrain department some love with this upgrade that will come before the saudi arabian grand prix and as you can see here we need to reach level five five acclaim uh, we're currently level one to sign additionary sponsors and put on the car we only have monet party who are main title sponsors um right now and jack duan here is our teammate and this is where we can invest in driver perks we can spend our own money on this but right now i don't think it's necessary we need to improve oh for christ's sake as i was saying before i got rudely interrupted um that we need to improve the facilities like right now we need facility upgrades and i can't be spending that money on myself at this time so uh yeah we will just keep going right now all right arriving at the Bahrain grand prix weekend nothing to check in with all messages cleared at this time uh back of the grid right now kick sauber just ahead of us so we are absolutely a back marker um thinking we can try and beat kick sauber and williams this season that'll bring us up to ninth and we'll have a handy battle on our hands against Haas perhaps um, Alpine are also not too far away so we'll see who progresses further throughout the season we've done some research here as we head to Bahrain but we're some ways away let's see if we can put in a decent race well as the sun goes down the speeds go up it's almost time to get underway for this shootout for the fastest time and the best possible grid position for tomorrow's race let's get on with it it's qualifying for the Bahrain Grand Prix All right, welcome to qualifying for the Bahrain Grand Prix. And to show difficulty is 110. We're using the same conditions as the F124 driver career mode series. 110 AI, no assists whatsoever, and manual gear shifts. Um, and on controller, of course. Uh, yeah, so let's drop the fuel. The car feels very draggy when I was using it in practice. Uh, this is not going to be as easy as the driver career mode series, but let's see if we can perform well. Our life is on the line. Well, I say life, but our name is on the line here with this team. Let's just try and put this car in a decent position. Come on. And that's P13, P13. Not the greatest of exits there, but we'll take it. Let's see where we place the car for now. Back of the grid. Worse than Albona Magnussen. Not good. Alright, let's put on some fresh boots and go out there again. Unable to improve by anything. Actually, I'm a little slower this lap. Unfortunate. I think we still beat Logan Sargent, though, for P20. Yes, we do. All right. That's a okay starting position, I'm going to say. Given our significant uh, disadvantage here with a very poor car, essentially, we've taken the F1 model that's been sitting around in Bahrain and repainted it and then brought it onto the track for our team here. Jack Dewan is slowest of the bunch with his sergeant just ahead of him and then myself in P20, Joe ahead with Magnussen and Bottas all knocked down in Q1. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a solid P20 starting position. Let's see if we can cook on race day. Months of rumor and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. There's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit, with the best, of course, at turn one, and then another soon after into turn four. 
15 corners here, six to the left and nine to the right. And we could see one or two flat spots into that tight left-hander of turn 10. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Sainz, Hamilton, Leclerc, Norris, Oscar Piastri, Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Stroll, Sonoda, Gasly, Ricardo, Albon, Hulkenberg, Bottas, Magnussen, Joe, Ace, Sargent, and Jack Dewan. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Now, I know this isn't where we wanted to start this race, but given we're back here at the back of the grid, it means there's an opportunity to move forward. I've seen you karting back in the day. Let's go and do it again. A uh, bit sus there, Mark, but um, quick check of the difficulty here. 110 for the race. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, bit odd. Been watching me kart. Do I even know you? I don't know. Uh, but here we are then for the race. We got two... This is some weird strategy, man. We'll see. I mean, the tires are pretty dead. Um, considering that we are one of the newcomers, right? So we don't have any tire wear upgrades. Um, so maybe we could do 7 laps, 7 laps, and 15 laps on hards. Or... So like 8 laps each and then 13. That's an option. We could do a one-stop. We'll try a one-stop. But then we can do a two-stop by doing medium, medium hards. We will drop our fuel. We don't have much fuel efficiency in the car just yet. So let's just drop like a tiny bit. Not much. Um, and let's get this race underway. We are literally 0 0.5 in the surplus. Are you sure about that? Okay. We'll see. Let's see. Let's start this race. All right. Starting on the medium. Some people opting for the soft tires. Interesting. Lights out and away we go. Knowing the odd strategy, some of these guys are going to be, all of these guys are going to be doing two stops. Coming through. Alright. Let's calm down and find our pace. Getting squeezed out here. Oh, drive. Whoa. All right, all right, all right. A bumpy start, a super bumpy start to the race. The AI just don't know how to drive. This is season one here. This is the base game. Not even with any of the upgrades on the cars these are base cars that are driving and you can see the AI just freezes on corner if they're fighting anyone off the racing line they just panic it's like there's a magnetic line that goes along the racing line that they have to stay on otherwise they're going to go insane All right, up into P13 right now, but we don't have the aerodynamics to stay close. Look at Albon pull away. That Williams, unbelievable. Even the Alpine doing pretty good. All right, we're losing a lot of tire. Tire wear is pretty insane. Okay, I gotta whisper these tires, man. I need to do a little bit more tire saving. Otherwise, we'll have to pit lap 8. Oh, look at the drag. I'm losing out to Ricardo. I mean, he is on soft tires. Oh, 
Ah, oh, the battery's also dead. I think I have to let Ricardo through. No other choice. I need that DRS. Okay, P15 it is. Oh, someone's on the side. Late lunch from Gasly, man. We're already in the braking zone when he tried it. Oh, look at him go. We got nothing. We're just trying to survive in race one. Oh, the drag. Oh, tires are starting to go as well. Yep, 14%. There's a bit of tire wear coming to play now. Oh, I lost DRS. Pain. Alright, Joe's gonna get past two then at this rate. Kick Salvers are our rivals at this time. Alright, just go, mate. Just go. Stole DRS. But I'm still gonna lose out, man. Gasly with the fastest lap, you're joking. An Alpine at the start of the year it has the fastest lap, you're joking, man. Oh, why are you turning in on me, bro? Why are you turning in on me? Brother, 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 brother. Clearly turning in on me, bro. Alright. You lot. Donuts. What? Borderline me? Nah, brother. I was fair on the inside, mate. He turned in on me. Oh, bugger off. I'm telling you, AI, you see? They go three wide, they don't know how to take a wide line because they're always magnetically attached to the racing line. Bro. All right, Jack, do in ahead. Four seconds. Just need to drive well now. Driver behind. Shoe behind. Okay, they're on old softs. Their tires are six laps old. Okay, we think they've got two stops remaining. Two stops remaining. And the time last lap, 133.0. Alright, here we are then. Back at it again. Joe, you better do this clean. Seriously. Alright. Insane how the softs are still alive, by the way. These guys on softs still managing to catch up to me. Is uh, it needs to be studied, but it also shows the AI's absolute okay, godsends, like ungodly good, because of no tire wear at all. Crossover point did happen. Oh my god, what is my car doing? I braked harder than that, mate. Car's a little unresponsive at times, just saying. Guess it comes with the base newcomer car. It's bound together with cement. Oh, first pit stop makers are in. Pits are happening. Pit stops happening. By the way, speaking of which, I need to set that to hard because we're going on to the hard tires. ERS is low. 
low, ERS is low. Consider changing mode on your MFD, or lift a little with gentle braking into corners to recharge it. Alright, we're in a small DRS train, mixed in with some of the people on new tires, some of the leaders on fresh tires. Tires are still feeling okay, by the way. Did I just set a green sector one? Personal best? You're joking. New life around 51%. Wow. Sunoda has an issue, okay. Well, we just keep going then. We got Norris behind. We have to try and reach lap 11 right now. That's the golden window. To make the one stop work. Alright, I'm not fighting Norris. Heck no. Oh, hold on, yellow flag. Someone's retiring. Oh, it is Norris himself. Okay, Josen. Okay, the pit window's open. Oh, I'm gonna let Alonzo through, man. No way. I'm fighting Alonzo. Oh my gosh. Jeez. We got traffic galore here on pit exit. Because everyone's pitting. Oh boy, what if a safety car just came out right now? That would be glorious. But for now, we just keep going. Russell on softs again, so he's doing another stop. I mean, everyone's doing another stop. We saw from the strategy planner that it was going to be a two-stopper. Alright, now I'm not fighting this. They're, this is just not my fight. I'm not boxing this lap, mate. I have one more lap to go. Okay, Leclerc goes through as well. We're going one more lap and the pitting for hearts. DRS. Lovely jubbly. Oh, doing fighting it. Albon getting past as well for me. I'm pitting this lap though. My tires are done. Oh, dude's also pitting. Ah, shucks. We got problems. Big problems. Ah, shucks. I gotta go another lap. Gotta go another lap. That'll help me, though. I'll have tires for the end of the race. But this is punctured territory now. Whoa. All right, buddy. Learn how to drive. All right, there, mate. Take care. Our data is indicating high levels of tire wear at this stage. Yeah, relax, bro. I'm coming into the pits right now. Wow, 78%, and we're coming in. Ooh, okay. That was a valiant stint, now until the end, hard tires. We are left having an absolute party, hanging on by a thread. Let's go. Ooh, I like the pit crew suits there. Okay, 2.5. Alright, let's see it out. Until the end, here we go. Do one on softs, he's doing another stop then. Softs ain't surviving until the end. Driver in front. Jack ahead. They're on fresh softs. Their tires are just one lap old. We think they've got one more stop. Your last lap time, one minute, 53.1.
You don't know if they have one more stop. You know they'll have one more stop. He's on our teammate. Alright, first pit stop maker is Ocon. Just up ahead there on the new hards. So he is much faster than us. I think he was in the points earlier. So I'm not, a, I'm not surprised he's still ahead. Really, ideally who we're trying to beat is the Kick Salbers right now. That Duan is now close to catching. Oh, Joe's in the pits. Okay. We should get past him then. Perhaps... Nah, not Ricardo though, unfortunately. Yep, we got past Joe though. We keep fighting. We keep going up the field. Come on. Alright, some more people in the pits here. It's Sergeant Botas. Whom we do get past. And Sonoda. Okay. My teammate's creating a roadblock ahead. Perhaps it'll allow us to catch up. Let's see. Oh, Pet is out. Okay, that's a position gained. I'll take that. Sergio Perez cooked his engine in Bahrain. He's right there. On the left hand side. I would take a safety car right now. Swap out to some mediums. Unfortunately, nope. We keep going then. We just maintain pace. Doing nearly losing out to Ricardo. Slowly losing out to fresh tire runners. He's still on the softs. Don't tell me he's trying to see this out on softs, mate. Surely not. Okay, Magnuson in the pits for another set of fresh softs. So it must be the hard soft soft strat. At the moment, the car behind is lapping faster than us by around a second a lap. Oh, Joe's a second a lap faster, eh? All right. Let's see. Okay, my teammate's in. Provides us with P15. P15. Ooh, Hülkenberg's also in. P14. Nice. We're looking good right now. Oh, uh, here comes Magnuson. Oh, look at him go. Bro's cooking. On the soft tires. Ah, uh, he gets DRS here. Oh, none of us do. Interesting. Well, Magnus is true. Maybe we can stay on his coattails. His softs will be dying off. Maybe I can get a little help from him. Alright. We got a front row seat to a battle between Magnuson and Stroll. We've been following Magnuson very nicely here. It's been working. He's been giving us DRS except for this instance apparently. He was 8 tenths ahead of me mate. Where did my DRS go? Who the? Eh, whatever. Let him fight it out. No interest in P13 right now, because I don't have the pace. P15 right now is a massive achievement with a car of our caliber. They're fighting it. I am slowly getting an invitation though. Tires are pretty gone though. Okay, Max Verstappen's won it. The 
Come on. Overcook that turn. Ah, just about losing out, I think. We'll settle for P15, though. Yep, we'll settle for P15. Hey, that's a valiant effort. Given our first race of the season, P15, the pretty solid. No surprise there that Max Verstappen wins it with Carlos Sainz and Oscar Piastri on the podium. Interesting with Charles Leclerc, Lewis Hamilton, Alonso, G Russell, Gazi, Sonoda, and Albon in the points. Ocon, Ricardo, Stroll, Magnussen, myself, Hülkenberg, Joe, Sargent, Bottas doing round at the finishers with Pettis and Norris failing to finish the race today. Hey, P15 with a 131.5 is pretty solid. I mean, 131.5 was the slowest lap, I think. Jack Dewan scored a 130.8. That's probably on lower fuel and soft tires. But 131.5 is pretty solid here. Um, slowest, but pretty solid, I must say. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at the standings. Nothing much has changed. It should be just as is. P15 in the driver standings. P10 for the constructors. We just need to gain two more positions. We have to score some points at some point in the season in order to secure P8, but right now it's looking okay. It's the first race of the season. Still a long way to go, so we'll see how things evolve. But yeah, that was a solid race from myself. P15, almost P13 to be honest. If we had a bit more tire like left, tire life left, and if we, if we were able to battle Stroll and Magnus in a little harder. But hey, I'll take a P15. Solid work. Let's keep going. It's only uphill from here because we got upgrades coming up for Saudi Arabia next time. And then also for future races, we'll be constantly upgrading the car. So we'll see how things evolve. This has been an amazing P, uh, part one I was saying p1 but part one of the series so hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know if you guys want more of this because that uh, like button is going to let me know of course so smash that like button if you enjoyed today's video subscribe using the subscribe button for more f124 game content uh, and my team will surely continue if you do so so yeah thank you guys so much for watching take care and I'll see you guys for a new video tomorrow